And even when I stand like a foot away from it, it's just, I keep kicking back because it is hot, man. Drew Binsky's recording a vlog for his YouTube channel. It is literally cooked to perfection. He's about to share with his viewers a Jamaican mainstay, saltfish. It's a first for the 30-year-old from Arizona. I've had red snapper all over the place, but nothing that tastes like this, you know? At first glance, Drew Binsky looks like your typical vlogger, but behind the lens, he's on a global journey. His destination, every country in the world. Jamaica is nation 196 out of 197 for the millennial traveler. And he's broadcasting his world tour to the tune of over 8 million fans. More people have been to outer space than have seen the whole world. And of that group, Drew is one of the very few to document it all. From the most remote islands to some of the hardest to reach communities. Uh, how many do you have? 24. 24? Wow. It's beautiful. Nations living in conflict to countries travelers just don't normally consider. We can't speak to each other, but it doesn't matter. Like, we're bros. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. He's sharing it all with his audience, breaking down stereotypes and misconceptions that extend far beyond borders. What are some universal truths that you've learned? From all my travels, I've learned that all people are the same. And it doesn't matter where you are in the world, people are so genuine. And encouraging everyday people to get up and just go. I just strongly feel that you become a more well-rounded and educated person by traveling. And nothing is better than crossing borders because just new languages, new, new cultures, new traditions, um, I find that to be extremely valuable. Country 196, 196 man. 196, man. How, how does it feel? Oh, man, it's, it's a great feeling. We linked up with Drew to find out just how someone that. manages to see the entire map and what he's learned along the way. We are literally off the beaten path right now. I have no idea where we are, but I know it's cool. There are so many travel blogs out there, so many travel vlogs. What makes yours different? I really try to go to the far places of the world mm. and meet with people and sit down and really shine the light on the locals and tell their stories. And I think that's really powerful. Here in Montego Bay, Drew's almost a full week into his trip. This is my island, this is my culture. His camera always rolling as he explores the country. A seasoned content creator who caught the travel bug as a kid. On my eighth birthday, my parents gave me a globe as a gift. So every night I would spin the globe and dream of visiting every country in the world. It wasn't really until I studied abroad in college that I, I got to go overseas and I became addicted. At what point were you like, I think this could be my job? I went to North Korea in April 2017. Put together this short video to give you an inside look of North Korea from my... It was one of my first videos and it got 10 million Korean views on Facebook. Locals, and right then and there I was like, okay, I think uh, this is gonna be good. As I traveled more and more, I realized that I'm on a good pace to keep going to try to go to every country. Nothing was stopping me. Since that moment, he's used each experience around the globe to perfect his system. From how he travels, to who he connects with, and what he shares. First things first, he links with someone local. This is Matt. Montego Bay born and raised, he knows the country like the back of his hand. Your experience like, is all about who you're with, right? So if I'm by myself, I don't really know where to go. So it's nice to always have a local friend and you just like vibe off each other. Today, Matt's showing us the best way to see Jamaica. Oh, can you smell that, man? Through our stomachs. This is the Jamaican jerk chicken and jerk pork. This is what Jamaica is all about. Like our people, sweet, spicy, and full of flavor. All 197 countries isn't just impressive. It's a lot. With a mouthful of jerk chicken, mm. I tried to quiz Drew on whether it all started to blend together. Sometimes things do get a little repetitive. I've seen a lot of really cool waterfalls in my life. I'd rather prioritize my time and see different things than just another waterfall because once you've seen Victoria Falls and Niagara Falls and Iguazu Falls, it's hard to beat that. So are all the waterfalls starting to blend together right I'm now? I'm not a big waterfall guy, put it that way. <laughs> hey, Even on this tiny island of less than three million, everywhere we go, someone seems to recognize Drew from his videos. Nice to meet you, bro. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this man even saying Drew's content inspired him to get to Ghana. I could subscribe to your channel and, and found out a lot about Africa through you. It gives me the goosebumps, even though it's a million degrees outside right now. It makes me feel grateful, and I just feel honored to be in a position where I can inspire people, where I can share the beauty of the world. But it's not just a passion for Drew. In order to live this way, he had to find ways to make it all pay for itself. How does someone like you make a business out of their hobby to travel? 
it's a lot of work. And I always tell people it's absolutely possible, but it takes a certain person to be willing to be in front of a camera 24 seven. It's not easy, man. I did everything myself for the first three and a half years, shooting, editing, script writing, uploading. How much can somebody actually stand to make living this lifestyle? In 2013, I made like $20,000 a year, all the way up to 2017, and then it pretty much doubled every year since then. A lot of people want overnight success. They're like, okay, I'm gonna start making videos now and go viral tomorrow. That's not really how it works. These days, Drew says he can make up to $35,000 a month. Thank you to all the sponsors. Through sponsorships and ads. Now he's got a full team spread across 13 countries to help manage partnerships and create content. Do you see the content as the means to making a living or do you genuinely enjoy storytelling? Both. I absolutely love telling stories, it's my passion. And so I, de I don't wanna stop doing it. I can't stop. Truth be told, I never check my bank account, ever. As long as I have enough to, to do what I wanna do and keep traveling, I'm happy. Do you ever worry that you know, you're, you're, you're putting forth a perspective of privilege when you're out there? Yes, I realize that I am a white American male and I realize that my passport is a lot stronger than um, my fiance who has a Philippines passport and a lot of people who have Indian passports, who have Egyptian passports, it's a lot harder for them to travel and I'm, I'm very sensitive about that but I really think that anybody can be a content creator. If you are watching this interview right now, it means you have internet or a TV uh, subscription which means you can have a phone and just start filming yourself and uploading it on YouTube. As this trip comes to an end, we go off the beaten path, literally. And we've arrived. For one last meal before he heads to his final destination, Saudi Arabia. You're about to head to country 197 and you will have officially traveled the whole world. Do you feel it coming to an end? I've had a lot of time to reflect the last 18 months. So yeah, I think mentally I'm, I'm prepared and ready to move on to the next chapter of my life. But yeah, it's surreal to think about like 10 years, that's like 3,000 days or longer of like nonstop travel. Once you leave Saudi Arabia, what is Drew Binsky looking forward to? I'm looking forward to continue creating content, going back to the countries that I love so much and just keep, keep doing what I'm doing. I feel like it's only the beginning. So you got your plans in the works. I can't stop traveling, man. I just can't. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.